Hey, 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 y'all. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is I, your favorite alchemist, the alchemy goddess. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. You are greatly appreciated. This is your daily love reading for singles, those in twin flame connections trying to figure out what the hell is going on, how to get out of it, why do you think you should get out of it, and trying to get out of karmic connections for this beautiful Thursday, September 23rd, 2021. We're going to go ahead and jump right into this reading and get some energy out there on the table for my singles. I'm hoping this is for the singles, you know, specifically for the singles. All my single ladies, all my single fellas, all my single ladies, all my single fellas. Okay, let's see. Let's see what's going on for the singles, those in karmic connections trying to get out, and those in twin flame connections trying to figure it out. Because <laughs> a lot of times, you know, there's a twin flame journey that we're on and we're, we've accepted it, you know, we're in it. But this is more so for people who have not accepted the journey, who don't fully understand the journey. That's how I look at it when I separate it, right? I know you're like, you know, it could be very similar to the T, but the difference is this could be for singles and karmics, and that's... That's just how I see it, I guess. All right, Spirit. What's the energy and the atmosphere for my singles? Those in twin flame connections looking to get out and karmic connections trying to get out. We have the temperance card. It came out sideways. Someone is trying to figure out how to be patient. Ooh, two of wands reverse. Look at that. Somebody's at a crossroads wanting to get out. Seven of pentacles. Something they, they, they can't see something that they can't see something growing. Detachment with the devil energy here, Capricorn vibes, Sagittarius vibes too. And then we have the King of Cups here, Ace of Pentacles. Ooh. Yeah, there is something here that's going to change. With the world card in reverse, it may not be a successful ending for everyone involved, but that's more at the towards the other end of the bottom of the deck. Someone feels as though they're losing an attraction to somebody. Ace of Pentacles, new beginning, six of wands, success. The Justice card, Libra energy, balance again. Ten of Wands, someone is tired of working on this. Someone's so tired. Queen of Cups in reverse, they don't care anymore. Someone is very insensitive. Queen of Pentacles, Virgo Cap Taurus, Queen of Cups, Pisces Cancer Scorpio, Libra energy. Yeah, this is a definitely a new beginning that I feel like someone does not see coming. I keep getting chills when I say that. This is a new beginning someone doesn't see coming. Justice will be served. There's going to be some success here. Things moving forward. Like I see recognition. People are going to applaud you on this. Probably friends, probably family, things like that. But people are going to applaud this. And I feel like somebody thinks they, that people won't, but they will. Someone is just tired of working. They're tired of putting the effort in. They're dropping it, dropping this baggage. They're just, I, I feel like they just don't care no more. With the Queen of Cups in reverse and the Queen of Pentacles, they're not nurturing this person anymore. They're not consoling this person anymore. They're just not giving this person that energy anymore. Or they're not giving a situation the energy anymore. King of Cups, heavy on the um, Scorpio energy. Heavy on the Pisces and Cancer energy. Devil card, again, Cap energy. You know, Capricorn. Sagittarius. Mm. Someone is waiting, though. It's like someone's not sure of what to leave behind. Six of Swords reverse. Yeah, it's kind of chaotic right now. Chariot, success moving forward. Someone's moving ahead. Someone's charging forward. Cancer energy. Word of energy strong here, okay? So we're clarify that temperance energy. Okay, thank you. Justice in reverse. See, things are off balance. Knight of Cups in reverse. Things are not right. Something is not justice. Something's not justifiable. Something's not fair. Knight of Coins. Knight of Wands. Here, one more card clarifying this temperance energy. And the Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Seven of Cups. No more confusion. Someone is not confused anymore about a situation. It's not balanced. And it's not fair. You know, I just feel like that's kind of where they leave in that. It's off balance and it's not fair. You know, and I feel like this person is trying to get the words together to express their feelings to someone else. We have the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands. Like, it's too immature for me. This is too immature. It's not solidified enough for me. There's no security here with the, with the Knight of Pentacles. It's a slow movement towards stability, and they don't like it. Knight of Wands. This person is always in and hot, in, in hot, out cold. I feel like this person comes in, like, really, really hot all the time, but there goes that Queen of Swords energy, right? And they leave cold. Like... For some of you, that's the case. But for others, I feel like you know what you deserve. And this is what you're tired of. Like, you just don't know how to get your words together to tell this person, listen, I don't want this. This is not what I wanted. This is not what I signed up for. You're not confused anymore. So we're clarify this two of wands in reverse energy. What's this two of wands in reverse energy? The chariot. There goes that cancer energy. 
And then the King of Swords reverse and the Two of Cups reverse. Yeah, somebody's breaking up. Somebody's done. So you're clarify the Two of Wands in reverse energy. They don't want to move forward with you. Death card reverse. Page of Coins reverse. And the Star card, Aquarius energy. Someone's got some bad news. Someone's got some bad, bad news. Scorpio could be involved here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer. Virgo, Cap, Taurus. It's a lot of energies here, y'all. But nonetheless, this... Someone has been... This change has been really difficult for them. It's hurt, but it's been hard for them to accept this. It is. But they're just looking at it like, maybe you're not my soulmate. Maybe you're not who I thought you were. Maybe this isn't what I thought it was. Maybe you're not my divine partner. And this person just wants to let you know, like... They're not looking towards you anymore. You're not looking towards someone anymore. This isn't a smart choice for you, basically. And that's what you're coming to realization is I might have to leave this in the past. That's the crossroads, right? For my dreams, for my fulfillment. Spirit, so clarify the seven of pentacles energy. Spirit, please clarify the seven of pentacles energy. We have the page of wands in reverse. Yeah, someone knows they deserve better or they should. Three of cups. Spirit, so clarify the seven of wands energy magician somebody knows somebody's been seeing somebody else yeah and they're tired of like worrying about you being sneaky or worrying about them being sneaky spirit clarify the seven of pentacles in reverse five of coins yeah it's about to come out temperance again sag energy aries energy this person is just like you know they don't want to go here with you They don't want to go there. You don't want to go there with them because you'll regret it. And this is something that I feel like is going to get better. Like for you, it's going to get better in time. But something tells me that there will be some kind of reunion between the two of you in the future. But for now, it's too much like being hidden. This is not working. This manifestation is not coming into reality. It's not. You want to be closer to this person. And you planted those seeds so long ago and you really want to be close to them. But you're just like, maybe it's not the right time. Maybe it's not time for this project. Maybe it's not time for this new beginning. It's just not. Like, there's still other people involved. That's what I feel. It's still other people involved, and that's why. And you're leaving. Spirit, please clarify this devil energy in reverse. I'm telling you, somebody's detaching from this very unhealthy situation. Spirit, clarify this devil energy in reverse. Eight of swords reverse. Yeah, they're tired of trying to figure out what's going to happen. I feel like that's the, that's the devil. Like, that's that toxic energy this person was constantly thinking in her head over and over again how the possibilities of this is going to come out how is this going to end how is it are we going to be together we're we not and they are done i'm detaching spirit clarify seven of wands reverse yeah they don't want to fight no more i'm not fighting for this no more they're clarified nine of wands it's always one thing after another damn them wands eight of wands in reverse Spirit clarify this devil energy in reverse one more card and then that's the ace of swords and the ten, eight of cups. Yeah, somebody is definitely like, you know what? I'm walking away. I am walking away. We have the eight of wands, seven of wands, nine of wands, seven, eight, nine, nine, eight, seven, seven, eight, nine. Look that number up. Somebody needs that message. Um, whatever that is in regards to love, that message, look up um, Google spiritual meaning of seven, eight, nine or nine, eight, seven. Um, it's seven, nine, eight. But there, you know, those numbers. And then there's eight of um, pentacles here. So. I mean, it is words here. I just feel like this person has figured something out, okay? Something has been brought to their attention. They've been enlightened on something, some kind of awareness. And this person's going to communicate, and it's not going to bring the best change for everybody, but it will bring the best change for somebody. They're just tired of it always being one thing after another. Like, damn, again? Again? Like, I got to let go of this. I'm tired of trying to figure this out. I'm tired of confusing myself. I'm tired of wondering what's going on with this person. I'm tired of, you know, I'm tired of fighting for this. I'm done. I'm walking away. Spirit, clarify this King of Cups energy. What is this King of Cups energy? Five of Wands. It's a lot of action being taken, y'all. Spirit, clarify this King of Cups energy. And then the King of Wands. Yeah, it's a lot of fire energy. Spirit, clarify this King of Cups energy. Ace of Pentacles. Spirit, clarify this ace of this ace of coins sun card spirit clarify this king of cups energy one more time for us six of wands king of pentacles bottom of the deck four of cups you are someone is rejecting an offer 
Someone is definitely rejecting an offer here. Someone cares a lot. We have the, listen, the knight of, the king of wands, the king of coins, the king of cups. Somebody has some deep feelings for somebody. Somebody wants to provide stability for somebody. They want to have success with you. I feel like the best way to go about getting that success, like, this person's very, like, battling them, battling this within, in, within themselves. Like, you're battling this situation because you saw a vision with this person. You saw a future with this person. You saw stability. You, you see, you know they care about you. You know they care. You make each other happy, but the new beginning, as this, this energy of this new beginning has to take place based off of whoever's fighting that internal conflict with this connection. But something tells me that walking away would benefit the connection in more ways than one. I just, I get this strong feeling that somebody just doesn't want to lose you. And maybe that's why you need to tell them I'm leaving. Because you need to really see how bad they don't want to lose you. Somebody just doesn't want to lose you. Mm. They're like, wait, hold up. No, like we can have this. I love you. I care about you. I can protect you. I can provide for you. You know, you're my, you know, uh, you compliment my swag. You know what I'm saying? You compliment my swag. Like, no, what are you doing? Like, and you're just like, I can't. Like, this is toxic. I'm tired of, you know, watching. Or I'm tired of, you know, hearing things about you. I'm tired of, you know, things being brought to my attention about what you're doing. I'm tired of trying to figure out what's going to happen with us. It's driving me freaking criminally insane here. And I just want peace. I just want what's, what's, what's best for me. I want my justice. You know, I want what's right for me. I want my balance. And you just can't figure out how to tell this person how to get this, these words together spirit what's destined to happen with this temperance energy what is destined to happen with this temperance energy self-sabotage see that's what they've been doing no wait a minute omen damn overly analytical Ooh. See, and that's what I feel like maybe you're being too over analytical of the situation and that's why this is coming up past life memories all them gold cards manifestation I told you manifestation was, was was strong here burden somebody has way too many burdens that they've accumulated from this connection and it's time to let go this is definitely not for the singles or it could be it could be because it could be you having to let go of something toxic so that new love can come in a new beginning can come in somebody who really loves you somebody who really sees you in their future somebody who wants to create stability because i'm getting over here like you sabotage this connection a lot because you overthink things and that's something you need to heal through you over very over analytical and a lot of this has to do with past life memories not even this connection and you're literally manifesting the worst possible outcome of the situation because you keep overthinking it over analyzing it so to clarify this two of wands energy was destined to happen with the two of wands in reverse energy waiting Time is of the essence. Ego. Fixation. Attachments. You're attached to this person and you have to detach yourself. It's become toxic. Inner growth. Yeah. And you're realizing that on your own. Burnt out. It's telling you. It's exhausting you. It's exhausting you to be attached to this person. You're very fixated on them. Always trying to figure out. Waiting around. Trying to figure out when it's going to change. When it's going to get better. Trying to control the outcome of the situation. Very, very much so. And you know, inner growth is needed right now. Let this go. Like, that's all I'm going to say. Burnt out. You're burnt out. Spirit, clarify what's destined to happen with the Seven of Pentacles energy. Inner demons. Defenses. Spirit, clarify what's destined to happen with the Seven of Pentacles energy. Revelation. Haunted past. And walking away. Yep mental block like <sighs> you had a revelation a lot of what you go through with this connection has a lot to do with your past and you're just not ready for it i feel like there's someone who wants to love you the right way and maybe this person does and maybe this person's part of your past maybe what has happened between the two of you in the past is haunting you I'm just feeling like you've had a revelation. You've thrown your defenses up. You have to deal with your inner demons. You have to walk away from this right now. It goes hand in hand with today's divine feminine healing message. This person's walking away or somebody's walking away from a situation because they have to figure out who they are. They don't even know who they are anymore. You know what I'm saying? So mental block. Like someone's trying to block this shit out completely. Like I'm just, I don't want to, I'm trying to block this. I'm just, 
I'm not trying to deal with this right now. Can you please clarify what's destined to happen with this devil energy in reverse? What's destined to happen with the devil energy in reverse? Burnt out. There came out again. You burnt out from being obsessed and attached to this individual. Guard it. You have to work on your wall. You have to work on the, the pain that you've caused. Scarcity. You have to give the attention to yourself. You have to give the time to yourself, not this, not this connection. Fragile. You're fragile. I told you. So you're clarify this awakening. You're in the midst of having your awakening about the situation. You're seeing it a lot different. I told you. Awareness. Something's been brought to your attention. Whether it was through someone else or whether it was something that you found within yourself. You know, you just realize that you can't do this anymore. You're burnt out. Of, you're burnt out from trying to figure out this person. Trying to figure out where this is going. Trying to control it. Trying to let, you know, trying to iced out cold-hearted like this situation is turning you cold-hearted and you don't like it spirit clarify what's destined to happen with this king of cups energy what's destined to happen with this king of cups energy new chapter i told you leave it leave it alone shadow work do your shadow work maybe that'll bring you and this person back together maybe to bring somebody new into your life either way cautious be very careful with yourself be very cautious inspiration spirit one more card clarifying what's destined to happen with this king of cups energy keeping tabs karmic ties i'm telling you it's like you and this person have created a situation where you're karmically attached to each other or your person could be karmically attached to someone else no matter what the situation is spirit wants a new beginning in your life and a new chapter so let let this go and do your shadow work put up the caution sign be very be beware of people coming into your life right now you're not at your best energy be inspired to do to do better and stop keeping tabs on whoever this is. Stop keeping tabs on them. Stop watching them. Stop trying to figure out what they're doing. You're driving yourself insane. Trying to understand what's going on and how this is going to turn out. Just walk away. It's time. It's definitely time. If it's meant to be, it'll come back. If it's not, it won't. I just feel like in all, in, in all honesty, it's exhausted you to the point where you've created your own sabotage. Like, trying to figure this situation out has probably sabotaged it you know the the bad thoughts the, this person leaving you with unanswered questions this person leaving you with you know un, unanswered or unshared feelings it's giving you like this situation where you're overthinking things and you're thinking badly so you're not even projecting the right things you're projecting these wrong things and what's happening is it created something that you didn't want to happen so yeah, what's the chakra energy for this for my singles and for my car those in karmic connections trying to get out and those in twin flame connections trying to understand and get out as well What's the chakra energy for this? For the collective. Completion. See? Told you something from your past has happened to you. That's the that's the sacral energy. Something from your past has happened with this situation. Like you and this person have been through something, right? And it's haunting you. The past is haunting you. Something that happened between the two of you. Let it go. It's gonna clear out some energy for you, and you need to let it go. Sacral energy more sacral energy passion wow so you're clarify the seven of pentacles i'm sorry what's the chakra energy on this seven of pentacles no spirit said no if it doesn't pop out it's not for you okay release told you let go of the past that's your crown chakra it's time to let go of this no spirit said no it has to pop out completely forgiveness no it didn't pop out completely chakra uh, isolation it's time to be alone it's time to worry about yourself that's the throat chakra impasse look at that more solar more sacral energy expansion third um throat throat chakra energy isolate yourself stop letting things get past you stop letting things violate you this is a violation this connection was a violation I feel like this person was definitely unavailable for you emotionally. I feel like this person wasn't able to provide any type of stability. I feel like this person was unable to provide their feelings. You know what I'm saying? And let it go. Detach from the situation because it's driving you absolutely bananas trying to figure out what's going on. When there is this King of Cups, this King of Pentacles, and this Queen of Wands over here, somebody just wants to have it all with you. Okay? They want the love. They want the stability. They want the passion. They just don't know how to get there. That's the king of swords over there. All right, spirit. What's the energy going on with this reading today for the collective, for my love, for the love reading for the collective? Storm warning. We're going to keep that one in there because it didn't pop out. All right, spirit.
Spirit. What do you got for us when it comes to energy? For this reading for the love. Victory in reverse. Yeah, you haven't been victorious in this. Because you overanalyze things. You overthink things. And you're creating that. You are creating that based off of overanalyzing everything. You're creating that. Your overanalytical ass has definitely created something you don't like in this connection. Contract. But there's a contract that needs to be filled. Justice energy here. The thinking woman in reverse. See, I told you. You overthinking, woman. That angel of love keeps wanting to come out. I feel like there's new love on the horizon for you. But you got to let go of this. You got to let go of this. I feel like the contract has been fulfilled. First chakra, Archangel Michael. So this is all about staying grounded. Isolate yourself. It's time to ground yourself. This connection has got you off balance. It's got you off track. F focus on your money. Focus on your stability. Not this connection. Not this connection. Walking away. Come on, spirit. Bottom of the deck, adjacent possibilities in reverse. You can't even see what is possible and what is coming your way because you're so focused on this situation and this situation that doesn't give you what you give it in return. It just leaves you in limbo. Somebody has never really shared their true, deep, their true deep feelings. They leave you kind of confused about what's going on between the two of you. And the walking away is just saying it's time. Walk away so you can have better in your life. Get grounded, get rooted, stop overthinking. You fulfilled this contract. You've done all you can for this situation. It's not a victory, though, and it's based off your manifestation, which tells me that this situation could have been better. It could have been different, but it wasn't because you overanalyzed everything, and that's something that you still need to work on within yourself. That's your healing. That's your journey, not theirs. All right, you guys, that's it for today's love reading for my singles and those in Twin Flame Connections looking to get out of those in Karmic situations trying to break free okay if this reading has resonated with you thumbs up if it has not thumbs down either way it's all love comment down below for me don't forget to like and subscribe and share with your friends and your family okay if you're looking to purchase a reading my website is www.alchemygoddess.love that's a-l-k-e-m-y-g-o-d-d-e-s-s dot l-o-v-e and purchase your reading there's a two to four week turnaround period but it's more on the two side than there's on the four side okay once i get the monthly zodiacs done those readings will be out like this so um yeah that's it for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed. As always, y'all know what it is. I ain't got nothing but love for y'all. Peace.